My name is Stephen. I'm one of the historic interpreters here at Colonial Michel Mackinac in Mackinac City. And this is a little bit awkward. As you can probably see, I'm a little underdressed. Don't worry, it's for a good reason. I'm going to be talking about how a typical British soldier stationed here at Fort Michel Mackinac in the 1770s would get dressed for work in the morning. So to start off, the most obvious is my nice big shirt here. And this is pretty much what we'd consider underwear today. This is the basic building block of all the outfits that you're going to be wearing. From here you can go on to a merchant's outfit or even a soldier's outfit like I'm going to. After that, move down here, we have some nice wool socks or stockings. They're going to provide warmth for my legs. To hold them up, we have some garters, little leather straps tied to the side to keep everything nice where it's supposed to be. After that, we can finally put on some other clothes. Our first piece is going to be our breeches. The breeches were the popular fashion of the time period. In the 18th century, trousers, or as we know them today as pants, really weren't the fashionable thing to be wearing. You'd find them on sailors or laborers or even slaves, but typical people wearing breeches like this, coming down to the knees. From here, we can kind of tighten up the shirt area, buttoning up our collar region, and now we can move on to the next stock. These pieces were often leather or woven horsehair, and they go around the neck. Our next piece of clothing will be our waistcoat. Basically acts as a vest. This, along with the breeches, are both wool, provide a little bit of insulation. Together, these are our white or small clothes, and I'm actually finally dressed. Now, there are different approaches after this. You could put on a smock for going out working, cutting lumber, maybe working in the gardens or what I'm going to do, move on to the regimental and getting dressed for maybe parade duty. Next, I'm going to be putting on my shoes. Now our shoes are simple basic leather buckle shoes. Now that we have our shoes on, next step we're going to add to them our gaiters. These pieces here pretty much act, kind of make it a boot. This is going to keep out rocks and dirt from getting into your shoe, protect your feet a little. Now we will move on to our accoutrements. We have our bayonet belt for easy access to our bayonet. Then we move on to our regimental. Regimental jackets can provide you all the information you need to know about a soldier. For example, on this one, we have a faded matter color. It's going to be different depending on your rank. Higher ranking commissioned officers, you're going to have a nice scarlet color. Your basic privates are going to have this matter color. We also have eights covering this jacket. And the eight buttons on our waistcoat, a regimental, and our belt, signifying the 8th Regiment of Foot. We have a nice blue facing for a royal regiment. And then even the lacing around the buttons is specific towards the 8th Regiment. Our next piece is our cartridge box. And our last piece is our hat. It's your typical cocked hat. And it looks like it's a little bit to the side, but it's supposed to be that way. That's the fashion of the day. And our last and most important piece of equipment is our musket. Now we're ready for formal garrison duties here at Michelin Mackinac. We hope to see you this summer.